Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Ashley if you are new and I'm here to lay out a monthly spread for the month of May. Um, this I kind of use as a memory spread so this is just that's just what it is. Moving forward in my family planner I would like I think I'm going to do June as a fan as a memory spread and then moving forward I'm going to do both. So um, yes, so let's go for it. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys, like, yes, 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 and yes, like, goodness. Okay, um, I'm going to have to cut this, which is perfectly fine. Just want to make sure I get it straight. Um, I hope that your May was good. Mine was, mm, eh, <laughs> it's a little sketchy, but you know, um, it's done now and we're on to the next, so it's all right. Someone just dropped something very loudly on the floor. I think Jensen's in the pot cabinet. That's like his, his thing is, is destructor. And you know what? I, Alaric was that way where like every little thing like pouring things out taking stuff out of the cabinets like destroying things from the dishwasher like all of that was his go-to and I thought you know oh my goodness like could I just like get through this and then you know because my kids <coughs> are crazy but none of them were like that you know and then along came Jensen, and he's just the same way. Like, he wants to, he just wants to pour everything out and just make a big, fat, huge mess. And that's his thing. So, you know, it's those younger ones, man. It's the younger ones that just, they're crazy. They are crazy. What are you going to do? I don't even know. You could probably, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's really loud. It's like pouring all the pots out of the, and the other boys are just letting him do it. I mean, you know, he could be getting into worse, I suppose. So I'm not going to complain about it. I'll just pick up the pots and it'll be fine. Um, we don't discourage pot play in this house. Like that's fine. Um, you want to use it as a drum and play around? That's okay. But it's just the fact that he wants to take everything out of the cabinet and just be a mess. That's really what he's wanting to do. It's not his creative outlet or anything. Like, he's just wanting to do it for the for the mess factor. And then he'll leave and go destroy something else. And that's the way it is. And that's how Alaric was just the same way. And I thought, oh my goodness, like, this child. Oh, it's not just him. It is not just him now. So what am I going to do with two of them? Like, what? Oh, my. So May for me was a little bit rocky. Um, this is when May was when I uh, was when I found out that I was pregnant. Um, but I lost the baby a few week, a couple, just a week and a half later after I had found out. And so, yeah. But you know, Mother's Day and. Mother's Day was kind of rough because it was talking about, like, babies lost and things like that, and that was emotional. I I'm, I tend to be the kind of person that when I'm going through something, I I kind of don't feel it all the way. It, it takes me a minute to figure out how I feel and to kind of process that, whereas most people just, like, feel it. It's a big feeling, and then they, you know, kind of move on slowly. But with me, it's not like that. Like, I don't react. Like, you think I'm emotionless. I, I When you watch all of these movies about, <clears throat> you know, like a mystery movie or something, and their spouse dies, and the spouse, like, doesn't show anything, and you're like, oh, some people are like, oh, they did it, because they don't show any emotion. Like, he's he's not even sad. Alaric is now hooping down the hall. Um... I don't feel that way because that would probably be me. Um, I <laughs> probably would not have any emotion and show anything whatsoever. I mean, unless it was like horrific and I found it, him or, you know, something like that. I would, I would probably just be stunned into silence. And I 
would know that I had to be safe, like strong for the kids. And so I probably wouldn't react at all. And I would be a nervous wreck, but I would probably like not react until like days later. And then I would absolutely lose my head. And that's kind of like, I just, it takes me a minute to process things. After coming down the hallway, screaming at the top of his lungs, running around with his brother, he comes in here and says, Mama, I'm sleepy. Like, what, what, what? First of all, you just woke up. Second of all, you're running around like a crazy person. Do you mean you're tired? Because I would be tired too. But anyways, I, I'm just not good at like processing the way I feel right away. It takes me a long time and it kind of simmers a little bit. And that, that tends to be how I am. And so, you know, that's just me. I know it's silly. I know it's weird. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm weird. And that's okay. I don't mind being weird. It, it's fine. But, um, it just, it, it just takes me a minute to get there, you know? It just takes me a minute. Okay, there's that. And then I am going to put this down at the... Actually, I'm just going to put her here because that's where she goes. Because that is her body. And it doesn't quite match up perfectly, but that's okay. Yeah, it's not going to match up perfectly. It's just going to have to be alright. It's not too bad. Okay. So there's that. I have all of these, which I'm super happy about, but I'm probably not going to use them in this, this planner, but I'm keeping all of these because look at all the like cameras and the filming reel and yeah, I'm definitely keeping these, but I'm not going to use them because I've already pulled all my functionals for the month and we're just going to go for it and get started. So, um, I'm just going to put like important. And I'm just going to kind of put a couple of things down here. Because I really don't care about the sidebar too much. But I don't want to leave it blank. So we'll put something on there. But I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay. So um, I started on the 2nd. And uh, hold on. Please hold a moment. So I need to pull a sticker for the first because I didn't know really what happened on the first. And then I looked at a different planner and I was just, just doing the huge, just cleaning and doing my thing. So I'm just going to put, or I think Filming is what I was doing the majority of the day on the first. The f oh, no, no. The first was Sunday. Okay, so we went to church on the first. And then I can't remember if it was a time where we had to take Jaren home or not. But it was the any time that we have Sundays, if Josh was off, it's a family day. And we just go to church and that's what we do. And... Just gonna put it down here. Okay. And I'm just putting one thing on here. Okay. But I am gonna put some. I guess I'll. Do I wanna wait? I'll put Family Day on there because why not? Okay. So for the second, I just cleaned all day long. Got some cleaning done. These are strips, which is nice. Just looking what I had here. Um, these are a little bit thicker than the box, but that's okay. So it was just a big old cleaning day. Got lots of cleaning done. On Tuesday, I was working on a journal for a customer, and I was really trying to get that done. Um, I was working very diligently to do so. Um, 
So let's write that down. Let's do family day. Church and cleaning big cleaning day and on the third we're going to sunflower journal I was almost done with it I was trying to finish Um, on the fourth, um, I don't remember what the fourth was. I'm gonna have to look because I pulled the sticker. Okay, I was trying to hang the pictures and get the house like buttoned up for moving in still. <laughs> I hadn't hang, hung all the boys pictures up and stuff like that yeah so the fifth I why am I crying the fifth we just had like a really bad day <laughs> oh it was a bad day it was just a really bad day On the 6th, we did some family errands in the evening when Joshua got home. We had some stores to go to, things like that. And the 7th, Joshua's friend. I put this superhero costume because Joshua's friend's air conditioning was out and we went and bought him a window unit. It was like 90 something degrees in his apartment. It was absolutely horrific. So we did late night helping Debo. It's a guy that works for Joshua, and his name's not really Debo, obviously, but that's what, that's a nickname for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> we had a family day at the park after church. It was really cute. Really cute. And I'm trying to, like, put her here without covering up all of her things, but... I'm just going to cover it up. Mother Day. <laughs> it was a kind of a weird Mother's Day. <laughs> we didn't go see my mom. Joshua doesn't talk to his mother. But we didn't go see my mom because we get our church later and they were having lunch early and all of the things. And then it was just, it was just kind of weird. It was kind of a weird day. But... It was still nice. We, we watched them play at the park and it was cute, but it's just a little bit strange. It's off the normal for sure. So it's kind of weird. He is trying to make as much of a mess as he can. He's trying to play with the broom. I can hear him and Tristan's like, what are you doing? And he's just, he's just trying to make a mess. That's what he's doing. Okay, so this one we had an ear appointment in the morning and an eye appointment for me in the evening. Okay. On the 10th, I actually took a nap and that is worth notating because I never take naps. That doesn't happen for me. I was exhausted. I wasn't feeling very well. Took a nap. Holy crap. Like, you guys, Jensen doesn't sleep. Pretty much since the beginning when he was born, he doesn't sleep. But it's been really rough the past, like, month or so. 
like the whole month of May still going strong and he just he doesn't sleep like he literally last night he woke up first he slept the first two hours so I was like thankful for that that's like the longest stretch I get right now I'm not kidding two hours and then he woke up um <clears throat> he woke up every hour and then at three o'clock it changed to every 30 minutes and I'm not kidding you. I'm dead serious. And it takes me a long time to get him to go to sleep. And as soon as I get him to go to sleep, he wakes up 30 minutes later. So. Big film and edit day. And then on the 12th, we helped my mom and dad pack. Which, holy goodness, that was a big ordeal. I'm not going to lie. We helped them pack. We were also supposed to help them pack. Um, on. On Friday. But we didn't get to. Because we. Joshua got home late. And then we had to go get Jaren. Um. So we had a late night. Go pick up Jaren. And for some reason, Jaren's mom was like super chatty this night, which is fine. It was just odd. And so we ended up being there like way longer than we were going to. <laughs> okay, on the 14th, we helped my parents move. So we were there pretty late doing that. And then the 15th was just church by myself. I had to take all the kiddos to church by myself. Joshua had to work. Church all by myself. Yep, except, okay. On the 16th, I did all the plenary things, and I'm just going to put one of these guys because I'm getting tired of using those strips. I think I'm doing a pretty good job of stretching them out, like spacing them out, but I'm still getting a little bit tired of it. And did all the plenary, yes, I'm putting it. Things. Ah. Um, the seventeenth, I worked on the junk journal all day to get it finished. Okay. The eighteenth, I did lots of filming and editing, so I put this for both. I think I'm just going to use these little stars. Someone's working on their house and it sounds so bad. It's like metal or something. I don't know what's going on. Filmed. Edited. I hate the coil being right there, left in in problems. I don't know who it is doing it, but it's like so terribly loud, but it sounds very abrasive. I worked on the junk journal again, trying to get that baby finished, which of course I did, and she really liked it, so super glad of that. All day junk journal okay the 20th we had a dentist appointment and it was a nightmare 
Y'all, mm -mm, you don't understand. You don't understand. Killian is... Ooh. Dentist with all four OMG Killian. <laughs> it was bad. Y'all, it was so bad. <laughs> okay, we got Jaren that weekend too, but this one... I did lots of filming. This is just kind of me, like, I really need to do like a memory planner where I do stuff with just the kids, but that's what I really want to do. Okay, I did church by myself again. All right. And there's a baby at my door. You hear that adorable babble? Mom? <laughs> this one I cleaned like a crazy lady. I cleaned all the things. All of the things. I'm just going to put this right here. Cleaned all of, I keep waiting for his brothers to come get him and play with them, but is, are they doing it? Uh, not so much. Cleaned all of the things. And then on the 24th, there was a horrible storm. It was insane. And we got caught like in the, we, we like left the grocery store. It started getting bad. As soon as we shut the door to the car, I'm not even kidding. Joshua opened the door to get in on his side and it almost blew the door off. Like it, it flew open so hard because the wind was blowing so bad. And then we like got home, but it was insane. <laughs> there they go. Took them a minute. But they did get him and play with them. Okay. The 25th. Holy God, you guys. 25th, we had a flooding debacle situation where Alaric flooded the bathtub. And I didn't know because we were in here doing homeschool lessons. And I had, he had gotten out. Came and got a towel. So I was like, okay. And then he, like, had turned the water back on. Yeah. He went and turned the bath water back on and I didn't let out the water in the tub from when he got out and he turned the bath water back on and it flooded and it was absolutely horrible. It was horrible. It took me all day to do damage control so that the floor wouldn't be messed up. Luckily it wasn't, but yeah. Then the 26th, we did a long long homeschool day it was amazing we got so much accomplished i was so proud of us i don't want to use that and i wish i had a pink left but i don't so that's fine so i'm gonna put long homeschool day it was great we will have long days as long as it's holding their attention and they're not burnt out. And that was just one of those days where it was just great. They were just doing so well. The 27th was a deep clean day. I deep cleaned the crap out of this house. And yeah. Like legit deep clean. Okay. Okay. This day I worked on the B journal because I was done with the sunflower journal. Worked on B journal. I love it. And I'm done with that one too. Now I'm on to another one, which is crazy because I didn't realize that high, like how fast I was turning them over. Okay. And then this day we had like 
I served in kids church for the first time and I put their little I put this little girl with the food I know that's for like dinner but we served them snack and everything and they were hilarious and cute and so yeah served and I did the four and five year olds and it was adorable and I have to serve again on Father's Day. So I'm not really that excited about the fact that it's Father's Day. I feel like super bad, but it'll be okay. All right, so the 30th was Memorial Day and Joshua was not off. And I worked on junk journal. Junk journal. This is just like what took up, what I focused on for the day. I mean, obviously I did other things, but this is just the focus of what happened. And then on, I had a migraine on this day and I took a digital pregnancy test and it was positive. I had taken a line test and it was faint, but I wasn't positively sure. And then I took two I took a digital test and then a digital test the next morning and they were positive. So, you know, that's when I found out. Uh, it's so hard to write on the bottom. It looks like chicken scratch. It's absolutely terrible. But that's okay. Positive, digital, and yucky. <laughs> okay. So that is that. And then I'll write some fun things about, you know, the bad, the good, all of that. Um, but that's what it's looking like. Look how pretty. It's so pretty. So very pretty. So I like that. And then for June, I'm going to do a memory spread as well. And then in July, this will become my memory planner in July, which is fine because that's what it started out as anyways in the beginning. Um, it will become my memory planner in July and I will continue doing memory spreads in this one and then I will forward plan in my other planner that was gifted to me that I'm super excited to use. So you'll see that one in July, but I still have all of these left and so I will keep these. I will, I'll, I'll keep this box because I keep all the stickers. I don't know if I'll keep these. I'll probably not, um, just because I probably won't use those, but I'll keep these, keep these. And I'll definitely keep these super excited. And that is what it looks like. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you again in the next one. Bye, guys.